Wednesday, May 8, 2019, and we're at 844 Wellington Avenue, Oviedo, Florida, 32765. I'm top Oviedo Realtor Scott Garrison with REMAX Town & Country. Call me if you're interested in this house, something here in Bentley Woods, or house here in Oviedo or Central Florida, obviously. I'm committed to the area. So this is a video tour. This house just on the market. Why are we walking away from it? Well, you've seen all the good pictures on online, Zillow, Realtor.com. What we want to do is give you a feel for the quality of the neighborhood as well. A couple little snapshots. See a couple of the neighbor's homes. Neighborhood was built in 1992, so we're looking at the early 90s. And these houses certainly have held up well. Many of them look still brand new. So part of your neighbors, right across the street. Got a few of the big oak trees, got a couple of the palm trees. And we're going to open feel to the neighborhood here. Perfect weather here in May, a little bit of wind. There's nothing like getting to see the neighbors across the street. Get a feel for what we're looking for. Of course, we'll go inside in a minute. The blue jay in the trees, you can hear. So there's the front of the house. 844 Wellington driveway. It's on Rochester. Right around the corner, we'll go check that out, too. Got a great location here. We're pretty close to the on-ramp for the 417. Not too far of a walk to Oviedo High School. Just around the corner there, and then down that way. Uh, and then turn to the left on Pine is the uh, entrance to the Oviedo Trail. And as I was there, I saw the school bus drop some kids right off on the Oviedo Trail. With all the houses nearby, they just walked down that trail to get to their homes. Super convenient for exercising. Now there's your side right there. You can see it's a pretty big corner lot. Let this car go by. So most of the time you're going to pull in here and go in through the laundry room. We'll get a different view of that in a minute. House is all stucco on the outside. Should be pretty easy care. The yard as well. Gets good sun. Just one of those mow edge and trim looks like. Good sellers. Have freshened this up. That's pretty adorable right there. Big tall ligustrum. And welcome home. Four bedrooms, two baths. 2415 square feet. Spree pool and spa. Main living area in a little circle. Condition of the place is immaculate, which is really going to help. It's only been on the market two days, so I'm sure to sell soon. can see it is clean as a whistle. I'm taking in a little loop here to get a feel for that living area. And then we'll go through the home, give you a couple of comments. First thing, smells perfect, clean, beautiful, nicely decorated. All the things that you want. Every house has got positive and negatives. This would be like a formal living area. If you wanted to use it for such, this would be your formal dining room. If you wanted to use that for such, I'd like to do most of the living here in the kitchen. 
as we're going round and round, one of the issues is the place is just in beautiful shape. It's a little on the dark side. Um, that light doesn't throw off much light. That doesn't throw off much light. How do we know I'm not just making it up? Well, I don't see any lights up there like we normally have. Why is that there? Probably because it gets pretty dark. It does have a little bit of a light issue, even though you have a nice windows here. I couldn't figure out how to turn this fan or light on. As you can see, this is definitely cool and dark. We only got those little tiny windows. That makes it great for TV. It's a nice fireplace there. It's never going to be really bright without exterior lights. That obviously is important to this family. All right, we've got the Formica here, not the solid stone. And we have the older tile. How do I know? My house was built in 1989. I got the same tile. It's the original tile. It's in beautiful shape. But it is older tile, older cabinets. That's not super modern. Those are. But it's all workable. Again, even with this beautiful, like there's not a mark even on the windows. It's so clear. So it's super clean. See how that's kind of a little older because of things that people don't notice. Everything's a little on the older side, a little darker. Certainly you can work with that. Master bedroom, really nice size. Really nice size. Interesting addition, and if I was more cultured, I could probably tell you what you call that. That's actually the same drywall, and then that's wood. Gives you a nice definition to the room. Plenty of rooms you can see for chairs. This is this is not small end tables. It's not a small armoire right there. That's a big one. And again, same tile in the bathroom. How do I know? My house is built about the same time. I have the same tile, the same tub, same cabinets, same counters. So I just happen to know this has all got to be. I have that same shower ledge there with that same gray, same tile in my shower. So you can see they kept it really well. That's the original builder's light. They never changed out. For instance, it's easy to do. They added that mirror, which gave you some nice definition. Got the tub there. Not jetted. Again, kind of got that big window, the double sink. A little on the darker side. Got the fan there. Got a bathroom so big, it's got room for a fan. Got two walk in closets. Not small, but what we're going to call normal walk in closets. Look at that view, because there's some things that are really strong about the house. That's the view from your master bedroom right there. That is strong. See the carpet, lighter carpet. For carpet, about as clean as you were going to get. Right to the backyard last. You're getting a feel for the floor plan, so the flow now. Nice rounded corners there. Good shot there. And let's go to the bedrooms. The best view for the bedroom right here. Nice high ceilings. And again, that is not a bad view right there. Little plant shelf. That's a bedroom number three, we'll call it, or the nursery. Again, the nice high ceilings, crown molding, crown molding again. In bedroom number four, plant shelf. Hopefully I'm not giving you vertigo. Got these corner windows.
those really brighten up that part of the house. And it would be nice to have some here to brighten up this part too. This is the kind of back porch you can't help but love. A lot of cement, a lot of big screen enclosure. All that is like extra that most houses would not have. Got some good looking furniture here. So this is your covered lanai. This is your uncovered Lanai. There's your bird of paradise, which add a lot of privacy to the back. Also, go out of control. And you got to come down every once in a while, but they'll grow back. Got a spa, which I'm going to guess is heated. Got the water feature there. Gives you that sound. Listen. Got the Senegal date palm in the back, which is nice. Fortunately, it's grown a little too big, so it's not going to last too long like that. And that's why people put them there, because I'm sure that's 10 years or more older. Got some nice grass, nice backyard, beautiful attention to detail here. We were looking at that, those corner windows, bedroom number three. See that propane tank there? I'm sure that's for that heater right there. And I'm sure the whole pool is heated. Or it's a heck of a barbecue grill we haven't seen yet. Got some St. Augustine here. And we've got where the St. Augustine ended here. Also the part of the yard that probably nobody comes out and looks at. You're just a little higher than everyone here. So I'm going to raise it up now that camera's over my head. Got the little pond back there, which means you got good drainage. It's a little higher, so you are kind of looking down on everybody. Say hi to the neighbors and the dog. Which I guess is nicer than being a little lower. There's the dog. I think we get him to bark. One thing it's easy to miss just when you're looking at that. I love oak trees, of course. That is, oh, I can't even bend anymore to get that. That's nice. And there's an elm tree. Just perfect. Almost over the pool. Definitely got a nice backyard. And I'm going to re-video that just so you can get a feel for the privacy. Got a nice fence there. They're on their back porch. Can see them there. I don't know how much time they spend there. And if you want to get more privacy, you could always do shrubs and all those things people do. Give you a little more privacy in key locations. Roof looks average. Not new. Not old. Of course, I'm not a roofer. Doesn't look like any sign of concern. Got that nice window for a pass through. We're going to keep everything open. Spring and fall. This kind of place is going to sell very quickly. One and a half days in the market. I haven't even left a card. That's a pile of the cards. Just the people who've left a card which is probably a third of the people who have come through. So you can see, the market will go crazy for something that's nice. So again, you don't have much privacy here unless you window that somehow, but you do have in this room a lot of light. Which certainly is nice. And I've got a feel for the floor plan. Walked around in circles a little bit. I am top Oviedo Realtor. Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country Realty. Let me help you with Oviedo Homes, anything here in Central Florida. My contact information is attached to the video. This is an addendum. Just occurred to me. 
I forgot bathroom number two. So that's been already done. This is the pool bath. Obviously, out to the pool. There's no counters from like a sinks. Everything seems to be in relatively good shape. New tile, smaller tile, but somebody had replaced that at one point. And since I'm doing an addendum, might as well take a little bit at the entrance too on the way out. And I'm noticing the things that I missed. That's why we're picking this up again. Got a little bench. Got some storage in here. Got a little Diaz raised for the washer and dryer. Very clean and neat. And got so excited about the pool area, I forgot the garage. So as you know, the garage is never going to be like really cute. So this is how you're going to come in and out. Water heater looks newer. AC looks on the newer side. Looks like somebody looking at the house and looking up in the attic. Plenty of space for two cars. Got some old cabinets there. These can't be from this house, but somebody installed some old kitchen cabinets. And some more cabinets, some more cabinets. The electrical box there. So the property is right behind us. I just pulled out of the driveway. We're leaving the subdivision. We're looking on Google Maps to the corner of Bentley and Wellington. That's Pine. And that's where Oviedo High School and the Oviedo Trail is on. And I want you to just see, if you're walking, you've got the sidewalk there, of course. We're heading down towards Aloma Avenue and Oviedo High School. And right there, for those of you who know Oviedo, that'll be familiar. We've got the Oviedo Trail. Good looking picture there. And of course going this way too. So it's definitely within walking distance. And just to be complete, we're driving down the road. We're just going to drive down to Aloma here so you can get a feel for how close it is. If your kids were going to walk to the high school, they would definitely walk straight down the sidewalk. It's not too far unless they're precious little snowflakes. And then of course you would get in your car and drive them. But we're already here for the non-snowflake children. You can probably go right in that parking lot there, right in that gate. There's Avita High School in the back. Yay! And we're coming up on Aloma and Pine. With the Avita High School field and everything. All right, that should complete this addendum. I am top. I'll be the realtor, Scott Garrison. For 3 Max Town and Country. Call me. Let me help.